Hi, flutes. So today we're going to talk about our correct embouchure with our head joint. So first of all, you need to make sure that you are putting the tone hole, that's this opening right here, right in the center, okay? And the edge of the tone hole, the back edge of the tone hole, is going to go right where your lip meet your skin. Now for me, it's kind of hard to see because that's where my beard starts. So you put it up there until you feel it right on the bottom of your lips, okay? And then you want to think poo. Now, why do I want to think poo? Because my lips come forward, poo. And it focuses the air, almost like you're, you're uh, uh, pushing, uh, blowing air down a straw. And when I think poo, and I blow, pointing at the back of that lip plate, at the back of that tone hole, that's how I get that sound. A lot like when you try to blow air across the top of a bottle to get a sound out. Now, that's the open tone with no hand. If you put your hand on it, you can easily get two notes. That's the lower one. And to get the higher one, I'm going to use faster air and a smaller embouchure opening. So I can go. And if you notice, the space between my lips gets smaller. Another thing you can think of is making sure to move your chin. So what you can do is you can do the simple exercise, putting your hand in front of your face and blow air at your fingertips and move your chin so that it goes down to your wrist and then back up and back and forth. Okay, and that's a good exercise for getting those lips to, or that air to go up and down by moving your chin. Another thing is, Sometimes it's kind of hard to see if you're using a smaller um, embouchure opening. You can do two things for that. Number one, if you have a mirror in, in your house, you can just go play in front of the mirror. Another cool way is if you use the camera on your Chromebook, what you can do is you can put up a screen, kind of like I have, and record yourself, and you can actually see it. And if you get close enough to the camera like I did, I'm gonna do it again, so it was really close to the camera, but if you get close to the camera, then you can actually see that embouchure opening smaller and, and uh, uh, making it smaller and making it bigger. And if you record yourself doing it, then you can really see what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. And if it's inconsistent, you can see even more clearly what's going right and wrong. If you have any questions, of course, reach out to me. You guys have been doing a great job and I'm really proud of all the work you're doing. Have a great day. Bye.